last Sunday, a 15-year-old was at LAX, the Los Angeles International Airport. And while she was going through security, a TSA agent stopped her and apparently gave her a dirty look. Um, so the 15-year-old girl says the following. She, he was mumbling, glaring and mumbling at her. Glaring and mumbling. She said it. the officer was glaring and mumbling. She said, excuse me, and he said, you're only 15, cover yourself in a hostile, hostile tone. Um, so that made her very upset. She proceeded to text her parents and tell her parents about what happened. Who were, oddly enough, just flying into L.A. also. Yes, in and, and by the way, her father is actually the founder of Boing Boing, which is a pretty uh, p popular website. And uh, you know, she was very, very upset because she felt like she was being shamed. Now, so you guys get a sense of what she was wearing, she had yoga pants, a tank top, and a button-down shirt on. I mean, I would not look twice at that person, not, I'm not talking about like, ooh, look at her. I just mean that outfit wouldn't make an impact on, I think, 99% of people in any way. This story kind of made me feel bad because I feel like I've worn sexier clothes to work. Like that is... You're dressed like a whore right now. I'm such a slut. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I can't help myself. No, but it's uh, really... And by the way, you're a TSA agent. It is not your place to make judgments as to what someone can and can't wear. Your job is to find weapons or find something that could potentially harm other passengers. Instead, you're making a judgment call on what a 15-year-old is wearing? Yeah, look, I, I think there are two parts of the story. Uh, the first is the TSA agent shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you shouldn't do it to this girl in particular because there's nothing wrong with what she's wearing. <laughs> like, everyone can see there's nothing wrong with that outfit. Yeah. She's got, uh, like, like, what, one inch of her midriff is showing, which is just, like, basically a style choice. Right. Right? And then she's got a shirt over it anyway. And she's wearing, what are those, you said yoga pants, leggings? Yoga pants, like, leggings, Like, something yeah. like that, right? Which is, like, now a very common thing for women to I wear. I still come from the era where you're supposed to dress up a little bit when you get on an airplane, so my objection to that would be, like, it's a little sloppy for flying, don't you think? Wait, hold, can we talk about that for a yeah, second? Sure, yeah. I think dressing up to fly somewhere is yeah, no, nonsensical. It, yeah, I got it. It seems nonsensical to you young people now. It's just that it was, I, I started flying at the tail end of an era where it still meant something to fly. It was still a big deal. And you were meeting other people, you were going to a strange place, you were, you know, coming together with all these other people, and so you, you wore a nice shirt. You know, I remember the first times that I wore jeans on a plane when I landed coming in from college, I'd get picked up at the airport by my mother or father, and they'd be like, oh, you wore jeans on the plane? That like, is amazing. Right, you know, and then they would never say that now, and they weren't really saying, don't do it. They were like, oh, wow, times are really changing, but I would almost always wear a blazer on the plane. Michael Shore, I don't know if he's ever gotten on an airplane without a blazer. That ever. is bananas. Yeah, totally. It's there hasn't been a single time that I've been dressed up on a plane. Now you see people go on the, people essentially, especially for long flights, people wear their sleepwear on the plane. Okay, I, I'm a mess on the, like this is what I look like on a plane, okay? I have my hair like this, and I have no makeup on, and I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> yeah, well, no, okay, I no, look like no a mess no, on the plane. No danger there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this looks kind of sexy though, totally. no? That's, no? Yeah, if you're wearing Digging makeup, it? you're wearing that. I kind of like it actually. <laughs> um, no, I, I got you. It's changed. It's totally changed and there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah. uh, but even now, like when I take a flight, like this last flight, I was in Minneapolis last weekend, I flew home. No, I wore a blazer both ways. I wore a blazer. That's insane. But I wanted, but that was partly because I wanted to keep the blazer neat for a minute. But, but still, I was thinking, well, I should wear, should I wear, should I take the blazer? Like, it's just, it's, 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 it totally cut off. I'm like the last person, 46 years old. Everybody younger than me doesn't even think about this. Yeah. Yoga pants are a must when I get on a plane. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, she's fine. So. But then, so there was all this reaction to it. It does seem a little bit, since what he said was cover yourself up. Uh, now, the, the parents got very angry. They went to TSA. They said that the TSA supervisor they talked to was enormously responsive, right? Yes. Correct. What other quotes do we have from this? I don't All want to right. So, so the father says, it doesn't matter what she was wearing, though, because it's none of his business to tell girls what they should or should not wear. His creepy thoughts are his own problem, and he shouldn't use his position of authority as an excuse to humiliate a girl and blame her for his sick attitude. I think that he handled it appropriately. I think she handled it appropriately. And it definitely helps that he is, uh, you know, the editor of one very popular publication and a founder of another even more popular publication. So it's great that they drew attention to this because I don't think that anyone should judge anyone else for what they wear.
No, I got that. But I mean, of course, we do. We judge people by what they wear every day on the internet, every television show. I mean, that's just part of what we do. We judge. I know. I, look, I guess it's human nature to make judgments or have a first impression based on what someone looks like. And, and it goes beyond just what someone's wearing. It's just overall presentation. I know it's human nature to judge someone. But the reality is you're not, it's one thing to think something. It's another thing to shame someone and tell them you need to cover up and be so public and open about it.